5. Reasons why the free tactical shooter Operation Harsh Doorstop would be game changing for consoles. If you go on to enjoy the video, drop a like. Number 1. A console release is possible. According to the developer on the project, Blue Drake 42 he stated that it's a possibility with the right amount of support and funding that we could see this game make its way onto the console platform. Will there be a console release? We are totally open to a console release, but in order to do that, we would need some form of support. So we'd either have to f sign some kind of funding deal with Xbox or, or some, some kind of arrangement where uh, the work that we would put into... Uh, migrating the game over to console would be covered in some way. I think now more than ever, with the release of Insurgency Sandstorm and Hell Let Loose, those titles have shown how much demand there really is. And also, this is possible. Operation Harsh Doorstop runs on Unreal Engine 4, the same engine as both Sandstorm and Hell Let Loose. I will certainly suggest to keep an eye out for this project, which I will be covering here. But let me know in the comments if you want to see this game make its way onto console. Number 2. A free tactical shooter. There is no microtransactions, paid downloadable content or loot box mechanic, something players have been used to in modern gaming. This is what really sets this game apart from other shooters, there is zero barrier to entry. Now there will be plenty of content in the game added by the developers, new factions, vehicles come in and more realistic mechanics. There is also a possibility of destructible environments being added, but this game is trying to be heavily player driven. Number free mod support operation harsh doorstop is built around the idea of giving the players the tools to create whatever experience they want in this title centered around tactical gameplay now insurgency sandstorm doesn't currently have mod support which is something they would look into but to see mod support being an integral part of operation harsh doorstop then the possibilities for console players would be endless this could be game changing that could be a big appeal for players on xbox and playstation that it's free a hardcore shooter and and you can play mods created by PC players. For example, someone made a Star Wars mod, but that's just one example of what can be done. Number 4. The progress made is insane. Animations have been improved, maps have been added ranging from World War 1 inspired maps to modern day. Uniforms for all the theatres currently have been added. Full mod support is available allowing users to create content right now for the game. New weapons have been added and they have teamed up with the developers who made the popular mod ISM C for Insurgency Sandstorm, so the models are very high quality. Full bot support will be available when the game releases fully sometime next year. At the moment, the basics have already been implemented for bots. All of this so far has been done with the help of Micropros, the publisher, and the Patreon supporters who donate monthly. The current state of the game is already amazing considering the limited budget, and I am using the footage on screen right now of the latest build. Number 5 console players are ready. With the release of Insurgency Sandstorm and Hell Let Loose, I believe console players are ready for more tactical shooters like Operation Harsh Doorstop. And there is plenty of interest in these titles for console players. A few years ago, I may have said that this project could never happen and there's no point discussing it in a video. Now it's completely different. I think more than ever, we can see these hardcore shooters on console. I did this sort of video for Hell Let Loose and Sandstorm back in the day before those games released and I think it is a really good way of showing in a light on these games that I think should come on console. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe with all bell notifications. If you want to keep up to date with these more tactical shooters coming to console, here's some videos you may have missed.